Hey there, it's Ambrose, the ITSEC project manager. Would you believe it? One of our security engineers put in his resignation today, and we have some major projects in the works. You know, Stefano loves the work you did on getting our ATO. I barely had time to manage you guys on that project, and you and Paul did great. Stefano and I think it would be a great idea to have you transition to the engineering side of things. Are you interested? Awesome! I'm glad you're keeping an open mind on this. I know we will need to get you some training ASAP. The tools that we need you to take over are Splunk, Nessus, and Wireshark. I also want you to learn a little bit about ethical hacking afterwards, just so you're well-rounded. I'll schedule some time for you on PJ courses to train. Don't worry about work, just focus on how to use these tools. Once you're done with training, we can get started on our projects. Hey, welcome to PJ Courses, Security Engineering and Ethical Hacking Training. I'm going to give you a beginner's level training on Splunk, Nessus, and Wireshark. After that, we're going to have some fun by learning ethical hacking techniques. The security tools you will learn are used by security engineers to defend their networks against unauthorized intrusions and the hacking techniques will help you to become a better defender. In this training course, I'm going to try my best to break things down for you, but the golden rules on how to become a good security analyst still apply. Do you remember those from phase one? All right, I'll give you a quick breakdown. Rule number one, look things up on your own. If you run into a configuration issue during this training, take the initiative to look up your issues on the World Wide Web. The internet can help you troubleshoot anything. All right, rule number two, learn IT in layers. Although I'm teaching you things at a beginner's level, you're going to learn enough about them to become dangerous. That means you're going to learn a great deal of information. The point I'm trying to make is, try not to get overwhelmed by them. And you can do that by learning the concept one section at a time. Once you're comfortable with a section, move on to the next, one layer at a time. Rule number three, try to make sense of each layer before moving on to the next layer. This doesn't mean you should overthink a concept. I say this to make sure that you always remember that IT is not magic. There's a reason why computers work the way they do. Before you move on to the next section or topic, make sure that what you just learned makes sense to you. Rule number four, preparation is key. As an engineer, you want to make sure that you understand the scope of what you're configuring before you actually configure it. Be prepared for your build out so you can minimize unwanted surprises. Understand the high level requirements for your configurations before starting them. For example, you may think you're just installing a simple program, but then halfway into the installation, you realize that the server you're building on doesn't meet the requirements. A prepared engineer would have looked that up in advance. An unprepared engineer would lose time by having to start everything all over again. All right, enough pep talk for now. No, I'm just kidding. I got one more for you. But I promise, this is the last one. Just so you know, I've saved the best for last. Okay, you ready? All right. This training has a lot of labs where we build and create things. The best way to do these labs is to complete the following steps. First, watch each video without doing them in the lab. Each section is less than six minutes long. Then, you want to go back through the lab and write down your own personal notes on how to configure them. And then finally, you want to use your personal notes to complete the labs on your own computer. Of course, you can use the video as a reference, but rely on your notes and update them as you go. This three-step approach may feel tedious, but it will really help you to make sense of the topics and remember what you did. I say this because I'm not here to make you an instruction following robot. I want you to be the best critical thinking security analyst you can be. So get ready, get energized. If you're tired already, get up and do some jumping jacks. Phase two is underway. And in the words of a famous philosopher that I know, here we go. Dun, 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 dun.